I know you guys like when we talk techniques and like weird tweaks on stuff. Skirt, 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 skirts. I got something that I showed you years ago, like 2016, 2015, but we're making a few changes for it, like with it to make it work up here and a few tweaks that I think are going to make it absolutely epic. So stay tuned for this. We have finesse wacky jig tweaks. You're gonna wanna watch this, all right? Welcome to Mighty Balls Fishing. It is hot out. So hot that Bug is hiding under the boat because he's trying to get some shade. But check this out. I got something kind of cool for you. You guys know, God, I think me and Tactical Bassin are like the OGs of wacky jig fishing. I'm sure somebody did it before us, but it's one of those things that we kind of like developed. Like if you go back, you look, I got videos from Dude, I think like 2014, 2015. But in any case though, it's a technique that I absolutely love because it combines two things that are awesome. Dragging a jig, catches big fish, and, and a wacky rig, which is the ultimate like bite getter and it catches monsters. So one thing I have noticed though, is the presentation that I usually use is, is pretty bulky, um, especially for those big Florida bass. So I've made a few tweaks to fishing it for out on the ledges, um, structure fishing and that, and kind of made what I'm gonna call a finesse wacky jig setup. And I wanna show it to you, it's some tweaks. It's kind of like a, a little jig mod with, um, with a finesse trailer. It's kind of cool, but we're gonna walk through the steps on how to set it up, what kind of terminal tackle to use, like what to actually do it with um, component wise and um, and why I fish it you know with these highly pressured lakes it, it's really key having a more compact presentation showing them something a little bit smaller and also we're fishing a lot of spotted bass smallmouth bass a lot of variety of species so they have smaller mouths dude so enough of me yapping let's go ahead and do the walkthrough on how to set up this finesse wacky jig it's compact real cool presentation I think you're gonna dig it box of jig stuff so first thing that we're gonna need to do is we're gonna get out a head. I wanna, guys sh I wanna show you guys like the, the head that I've been using. I started grabbing some of these Boss jig heads. I'll put links to it down in Tackle Warehouse. Um, it's a half ounce, has a little more straight shank hook than what I was using before. And you'll notice I said half ounce. Usually I would be setting this up that the old school like Florida rig style would be a three quarter ounce, even an ounce if it's really like windy and blowing and stuff like that, or if I'm fishing super deep. I've really modified the, this presentation where I'll go with a half or even I got some three ace as well. So it, it's definitely a little bit lighter technique, but that's a boss half ounce jig and that's what we're gonna set this up with. The other thing that I have in here, let me dig out the right one so I'm showing you exactly what I'm using. We have a star flash skirt. You guys have seen these before. I did a video about them actually when we were fishing like uh, double weed guard jigs and big punching jigs on Okeechobee. They're a round rubber type skirt, super like, flailing like it just it, it I don't even know the word dude it like it looks like one of them octopuses or whatever down underwater like a jellyfish like it, it flails open and closed it really has an undulating kind of an action to it but we're gonna do something kind of weird with this and change it up a little bit but star flash round rubber that's the other component so if you guys pay attention to the videos you know I kind of and make sure to go back and watch them there's a lot of good stuff back there about a lot of different ways to catch bass but one of the things that I've been into lately is, is finesse jigs and it really what defines a finesse jig is is a shorter collar so what we're gonna do with with this setup is we're gonna do a little mod on the skirt to basically turn it into a finesse jig and what I'm looking for is something like almost like a little just like a short little flail like that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors I'm gonna make a little cut just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna modify it once we actually put it on the jig, but it's a lot easier to do some of these basic cuts before you actually slide the skirt on the jig. So I'm gonna take a little off the bottom. We're definitely gonna end up taking more off. And now I'm gonna take my football jig. And you see, now usually if you were looking at like a skirt, you'd be like, oh yeah, you want the long side on the front? No, dude. I want, I want this short stubby side on the front. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna thread the hook through the collar just like that. We're gonna slide it up onto the jig collar, just like that. You can see if she gets on there. Kinda of looks like a dog in a freaking cone that just got neutered, right? It's kinda of cool. Okay, so definitely gonna to need to make some tweaks, but you guys are kinda of getting the idea. Basically, what I'm putting together right here is, is a finesse football jig. And this is what's gonna actually hold our wacky rig once I get it set up. So let's make a few more cuts real quick. What I wanna do is I wanna lower, I wanna shorten the skirt material so it's closer to the base of the hook because if you remember, we're gonna be putting this wacky rig on the back. I don't wanna hide the wacky rig and I don't wanna inhibit its action. So part of the deal is you need to kinda of have that hook exposed a little bit. Kinda of just like that, that looks pretty good. And then on the top here, you can see it kinda of flails out. 
Um, I'm gonna bring it around and make it a little more even, but then I think I am gonna make a few. This is me being anal retentive. You don't have to be this crazy with it, but this is what I like to do, and I kind of like to make it a little bit perfect. I'm going for just a, a slightly shorter, kind of looks like one of them dinosaurs that flails out. Actually, that's probably perfect. So basically what we've done is we've taken this half ounce boss football jig, got a star flash skirt, and we've shredded up the star flash skirt into a more finesse kind of, basically like a finesse football jig. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to, like the wacky rig setup, the finesse wacky rig, but dude, you could put a like a craw trailer on here. You could, I mean, you could do a million different things with just this style jig. It rolls great over rock, over shell, like we're fishing out on the ledges. But what I wanna do is let's go ahead. If you guys have any questions about where we are, like right now with the finesse jig and with the, the just trimming it down, drop them down in the, in the comments box. I'll respond to them. But we're gonna move on to what we're gonna put on as a trailer to kind of complement this thing and um, basically show these bass a little different presentation, a little finesse wacky rig presentation. So what, what you're gonna do is you got your finesse football jig right here. This is the finesse trailer. So it's a Demiki Stinger. Now I'm gonna show you why. I think we did it and we showed you in like a tackle warehouse unboxing video. You see how that tail just goes like dude, it's, it's a, it's a tweak master. So what you're going to do is you're going to find about the middle. You actually go a little further up than the middle and you just hook it on through. Actually, we didn't do it right. See real fishing, right? You want to go up a little more in the meat thing. You don't want it to dangle to there. That's it. So you can see it's kind of a little off centered where, you, where you're going to hook it, but you can see the thing just like, even on the front, it, it just jiggle twiggles, dude. And then you got that finesse front. That's going to be my finesse presentation. I've caught a bunch of fish on the ledges on, on Gunnersville as well as Pickway. Um, it just shows them something different. What's also kind of cool too, is it slows down your presentation. You, instead of having like flappers and stuff like that, this actually creates drag, but it's super subtle. It's not a bunch of water displacement. It's just kind of like a dragging kind of push water displacement. And it slows down as you drag the bait because you, you, you know, you're going against the friction of that wacky rig. So it's a friggin' sick little combination. I like having the finesse kind of jig on there. It's something that they don't see that much. You know, they're seeing a bunch of big bulky worms and j all this giant stuff down there. And I'm telling you, dude, you don't need giant baits to catch big fish. I mean, I like doing it that way, but on these pressured lakes, it's not always essential. But there are some baits like a jig like a wacky rig that are known for catching some big fish as well as catching numbers. So if you can combine those concepts into something that's a little bit different, yeah, you, you can trigger some of those bigger fish that I've seen just about everything that, <laughs> that you could throw at them. I will note though, if you guys are on some bigger fish, I would not be afraid, or if I get on some bigger fish, to bust out. This is my classic um, wacky jig setup. And this is a Gambler Obeast. I know Tactical Bassin throws like a giant, um, like a seven inch fat ace, like a Gambler fat ace or a Yamamoto on there. And, and I dropped a comment on one of his videos once. You know, dude, like that works. And I know he's caught some giant bass on it. Everybody's got their own way to do everything. But like, if you're on big fish, this Obeast, dude, it's a denser plastic. And it, fr you see that? How it just, Boom, boom, boom. If you look at like a, a fat ace or like a, a Yamamoto Senko or something like that, even the big ones, they don't like twerk like that. Listen to me, twerk, dude. Yeah, nice job. But they don't have that kind of like that dense plastic vibration. And I really think it makes a difference. Like I'm not one for all like the quirky little stupid weird stuff that people get hooked on, but I'm, I'm telling you when it comes to the action in the water, that denser plastic really makes a difference. So what you would do in this case though, is um, there's a little hook indentation. I'm just gonna slide this joker right through. And you can see it's a much larger, bulkier presentation, but still with that finesse jig, it, it's bad to the bone, dude. So if you're on some big fish, try that thing out. Components that you need, uh, Tamiki Stinger. Um, these are half ounce football jigs from Boss. I'll put links to them down in the description box. That's a Gambler Obeast. Um, you can also do it on like a three eighths. Hell, you can you can do it on a quarter. You can be as creative as, with it as you want. I just recommend you know trimming down that jig skirt, putting like the short haircut on the top of it, trimming it down to the base of the hook. You can see, you know, there's not much skirt. I got one also made up right here. You know, like there's not much coverage on that that hook. Trim it down. Go a little bit smaller. 
telling you, it'll still catch big fish and it'll catch numbers, dude. I'm sweating bullets, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. If you got any questions, drop them down in the comments box. I'll put links to everything in the description box at Tackle Warehouse. Thank you guys for supporting these videos. It means a lot to me. I love making them. Bog loves going fishing when it's not super duper hot out. So throw us a like for Bog. But we will see you next time on the water. Try out that wacky jig. I'm telling you, you'll catch some.